filled with tales of giant creatures emerging from its water and blessed with breathtaking natural view. Kanas Lake should be in every tourist list of places to visit when they are in China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The lake is smack in a valley in the Altai Mountains near the northern tip of Xinjiang, which borders Kazakhstan, Mongolia and Russia. In summer, the lake is crowded with tourists from near and far. To avoid the crowd, we decided to come here at the end of autumn to see the snow-capped mountains and the mellow side of the lake. We travel from Gujin, which is a county about 700 kilometers from Urumqi, to a small village called Chonghua as a stopover of our Kanas Lake trip. The local people advised us to stay at the village before embarking on our final 70 kilometer journey to the lake. We have lunch at this restaurant and its owner is excited when he talks about the lake. He says Kanas Lake is a fishing paradise for anglers and he shows us some of the fish he caught from the lake. Xiao Kalati tells us that minority ethnic groups such as Kazakh, Tuvan, Mongol and Uyghur make up the majority population in the area. While we are finding out more about the mystery of Kanas Lake, Xiao Kalati's wife prepares our lunch. Voila, we are then served with mutton buns, greasy rice and shredded chili and carrots. After lunch, we head off to the lake. As we are halfway through our journey up to the mountains, the sky turns gloomy and soon it snows heavily. We decided to head back to Chonghua in the afternoon and continue our adventure the next day. After staying at the village overnight, we are on the road again. It's a much better day with clear sky and the driver assures us that we will reach the lake no matter what. We cruise past Kanas River to where the lake water flows out before arriving at the lake's scenic area where we are greeted by wooden chalets and magnificent scenery. We are now finally at Kanas Lake. After two hours of journey, it is a long ride, you know. This lake, you know, is touted as one of the most beautiful in northwest China. The scenic area, covering 45 square kilometers, is also one of the country's most well-preserved natural reserves. In the 1980s, China designated the area as a protected zone and eventually developed it into a premier tourist attraction. In Mongolian language, Kanas means beautiful, abundant, mysterious, and unpredictable. Historical records show that the lake was formed as a result of glacial movement some 200,000 years ago. The crescent moon-shaped lake with a maximum depth of 198 meters is home to over a hundred different kinds of birds and fish. The native villagers in the area claim that they have seen large water creatures in the lake, which they believe are there to protect them and the environment. Xinjiang 
When news of the sighting of the creatures was broadcast on China Central Television again in 2007, the frenzy for the lake heightened. A video recorded by a handheld camera showed a group of unknown creatures swimming in the same direction in the lake. Sai Erjiang Chiaida, a Mongol who lives on the mountain overlooking the lake, travels with us back to the scenic area. He swears that he has seen the creature before. We walk to the lake and take a closer look into it. Here you go. This is Kanas Lake. The locals say what makes this lake special is that you can see your own reflection in the water. The legend of the water creatures aside, the views at Kanas Lake are really amazing. Its water is crystal clear, and indeed, I see my own reflection at the edge of a jetty by the lake. The lake is divided into six attractions. Tourists can walk about 45 minutes up to an observatory pavilion on the mountain to have a panoramic view of the lake, or end their trip by walking along the stream back to the resort run by the local villagers. The tales of water creatures have added a sense of mystery to the lake, but its serene environment amidst the wonders of nature is what really makes Kanas Lake special.